Alright guys, so I just made a jetpack. I'm about to give this one to Dakota. Check this out, check this out. This is OP, this jetpack. So good. <laughs> Got him! <laughs> Welcome back everybody to Advent of Ascension, the aka Nevermind 2.0, aka what used to be called Eternal Isles. So here we are, I'm doing a single player thing, which I wanted to do a little bit more, not single player thing, solo episode thing, which I wanted to do a little bit more in this season just because uh, we got a lot more things going on, we're not like directed to fight all the new bosses that came out, there's only, what, four, four bosses? Five bosses that came out, and uh, to fight four out of those five you need to level up specific things there's a gold bee over there i want to fight the gold bee uh but in this episode we're just gonna go over some little things show off a little bit i mean dakota have been doing i'm watching you pal uh so over here is where i got a bunch of stuff going on where's beefy you know he's my guard here uh is where i got our quarries going on here let's see if we can take out that grunt take out that grunt boom is he dead boom boom Oh my god, I hate these guys. They teleport. They're good. They're good at teleporting. What's my armor doing? My armor's doing okay. Alright, he ran into that hole. He's... He didn't die, but... He's not smart. I don't know how deep that is. Has that reached the bottom yet? Yeah, it looks like it's done right now. That or there's no power. There's definitely no power. Is that what it needs, is power? Seems like, yeah, okay. So let me just refuel this a little bit more. But yeah, I've already gotten diamonds from this one. The last quarry I didn't get diamonds, probably because I ran out of space in the chest, and this time I had to put three chests. But look, look how fast that you can run out of space with a quarry. So let's see if we can just organize a little bit here. Oh, uh, we got we're getting all these essences. Now I'm personally I'm not getting the essences. What's going on is what's going on is uh I need to make another chest like badly. Is it wood anywhere? wood anywhere like nearby uh the for some reason the quarry can level up somehow and it like confuses eternal isles it confuses never mind oh what the heck and it's like it keeps on making the noises it's supposed to make when you level up and i added in a couple more mods to server uh little mods but you know ones that help a lot timber will help a lot or whatever is that timber i don't even know what that is i think it's a uh, tree f no not tree feller What's the other one? Tree capitator. Uh, just to uh, make cutting down trees better, because uh, those those things are in the way, and I'm kind of scared to cut them down. But we'll I'll figure something out. I'll try and cut them down little by little. But yeah, let's make even more chests here, uh, just to store a bunch of the cobblestone, just because we don't want all that cobblestone there. And we're also gonna be doing some quests Dakota made for me, because he wants me to do those. I'm a nice person, I'll do them. Uh, but they're just side quests, they're nothing like uh, the main quest we have set up. And the reason why we have quests in here is to spice it up a little bit more. If we didn't have the quests, I don't know what we'd be doing. We wouldn't have like a specific goal. I mean, to fight the new bosses, yeah, we want to do that. But uh, <clears throat> until then, because those bosses are a little bit harder to uh, get to, I know a lot of the new bosses added in, and you have to have like a sp certain skill level. And uh, that's. I got a certain skill level at like 70 or something like that. Because the boss I want to fight, you need like 7 in Augury. Which is, is Augury mining? I think Augury is mining. I'm not sure. Uh, but you need really high level in that 70. And then you need 70 in Infusion, I think. Which we're also going to mess with today. But uh, we're going to go grab a quest from Dakota's area. After I store a little bit. Cobblestone. Okay, boom. Got a bunch of cobblestone. I don't know what I'm going to use that for. Uh, glory hole, no, we want to go, Dakota's place, boom, here we are, hello, Vladimir, is boot, booty hunter in training, he was not here earlier, 
Did the car get on while I wasn't like I I was playing not too long ago. And I don't remember. I came over here too. Like, what was that? Uh I don't remember this guy being here. It's a nice little sight. Why is it like two different colors? I don't know. Ross has some of the greatest weaponry I've ever seen. You should check it out when you get the chance. Hello, Ross. I don't know, those, those, those weapons aren't that great. Okay, uh, let's talk to Master Desmond. Uh, Master Booty Hunter. Uh, he's an elf. Welcome, my student, to the land of departure. I am here for one reason. To make you the best hunter there is. I'll have many jobs for you to take if you wish. However, these do not have to be completed, but in return, I can give you the tools for fighting. If you don't, are you interested in taking on these quests? Uh, I'm ready to learn. Uh, Alright then, here's your first quest. Uh, those void walkers are beginning to irk me and continue causing blindness to all my students. I'd like you to take out the source of this trouble by defeating five mother void walkers. Five? How's it know to take out five? <laughs> to kind of learn a little bit more about these quests than me. Uh, when it comes to dialogue, like I know some of the things because I have some very cool coming up that you guys will hopefully enjoy when it comes to quests. Now, before we do this quest, because we can't exactly just do this quest, we're gonna head back to the Glory Hall of Ascension. Which I've been working on this. I had to clear my inventory, so I just placed that down. I've been working on this. We got a little enchantment table going on here. I'm gonna burp. Okay, never mind. Uh, we got a little whatever is going on there. Then we got all this railcraft stuff because I want to set up a path. So just teleporting around everywhere. I want to set up some rails to go to Dakota's house. Maybe even get to the quarry. Uh, just to take out the teleporting. Because we use it a lot. And it's not that bad. It's not really that cheaty. But uh, every now and then, it'd be nice to just walk. Be There's that clock. Be nice and comfortable to walk. We're going to make a stone bowl. Is that what it's called? Stone bowl. So uh, two cobblestone and then a gold ingot. I'm trying to talk a lot, so... That you don't hear the music. See, you can. It's a clock. I don't know. It makes noises every time an hour passes. When there's light on it, there's not light on it though. I think it's like solar powered. Maybe it's just because of the window. Okay. So with this stone bowl, we we see we see all these glowing orbs everywhere. We see these. I'm going some tea right here. These glowing orbs are starting to annoy me because they're like everywhere. Look at what happens when I hit F3 and A. You can see how many there are. So we're gonna do this. You gotta right click them. Is it right click or is it left click? Neither. What? Oh, there you go. I have it. I got a glistening infusion stone. Ooh, okay. Oh, okay, so it is shift right click. So we just click on these pixons. Into, boom. We got rid of that Pixon. And they give us they give us all these things. What did we just level up? Infusion. That's the one with the like blue crescent and the purple crescent, I think. I don't know. Uh, and we're just gonna we're just gonna drain all these dudes. Get them out of here because they're annoying. You're everywhere. Oh my god. I don't even know how this works. Where do I click on? Like your core? Hey, come back here. Come back here. I'm trying to click on you. So I don't exactly know what these are. Oh wait, no, I, I think I know what these are used for. Uh, these are used to enchant, I believe. I don't know, let, let me check it out real fast. Okay, so it says get to level five in uh, infusion. So we are level five now from just gathering up a bunch of pixons. And we got a bunch of glistening infusion stones now. So we have to make an infusion table, I believe. Is that creeper still over here? I saw a creeper over here. Uh, infusion table, let's look that up. So, uh, infusion, infusion, right here, infusion table, uh, obsidian and amethyst ingot, luckily, we have amethyst ingot, we don't have obsidian though, man, we have two amethyst ingot, uh, it feels like I prepared for this, uh, shoot man, oh shoot man, how do we get obsidian, I have to go mine obsidian, whoa, hold up, this shouldn't even take that long, I'm on level 14 right here, and uh, we can we can add some more to the Emberstone pickaxe, getting the super pick back really early on. Sorry if you hear the table making noises. Uh, efficiency, bam! Up that efficiency, boy! They're actually like really easy to use, and they don't clutter your inventory. Uh, because if you try to use staffs as like a main weapon, you have like all these slots right here, plus like all of these would be filled with rooms. So picking up loot, you would have trouble doing that. So we got our 
in uh, infusion table. I might move this later, but for now, I'll bring this uh, down here into the Relcraft area. I'll make a uh, room and everything for this now. I'm liking how this place is coming along. It looks nice. Uh, but yeah, let's. So now we use the glistening st infusion stone on the altar. I think. I don't know. Let me read it real fast. So it says uh, <clears throat> we have to. Doing will raise your infusion skill. These stones can be used on a fusion table, but only once this skill reaches level five. Uh, blah blah. blah. Pick songs grant between two to six stones at random. Best method, method to get them quickly is to spam click them. Uh, and then now we gotta go to the enchantment method. So when you use infusion stones on an infusion table, while it raises your infusion skill, your goal is to obtain a power stone. So our goal is to obtain a power stone. So as you watch our infusion go up, did we get anything? Let's just like clear out a spawn our inventory. Okay, <clears throat> let me read the rest of this. Uh, your goal, blah, blah, blah. With this, you can use it to enchant your guns and staffs as well as your armor, swords, etc. To obtain a power stone, keep inserting the infusion stone into the infusion table. After that, to enchant, grab some glowstone dust and right click to infusion table the mode you want. That's bad grammar. Uh, you'll know what I'm talking about when you do. You have to use the right colored power stone for the right mode. Example, green for damage boosting. Then when you have the mode you want, right click the infusion table with a power stone in your inventory and there you go, new enchantment. Note, power stones look just like infusion stones. Uh, oh, nope, you have to be level 70 in infusion to fight the guardians. But, come out of here. <clears throat> Talking about fighting bosses. Now, from what I heard, or what I read, something about going through portals and stuff, they, how do you get like better infusion things? Going through portals and stuff, they like reset all your skills like in that dimension. They don't reset, like if I were to go into another dimension, uh, this would all go, they would all go to zero. But when I come back here, they'll all be like what I have now, seven, four, one, four. They'd all stay the same in the overworld. How come I'm not getting no, no, no power stone? Power stone? Is that what it's called? Power, power. Power, is this what we're trying to get? No, that's not power stone. That's a that's a that's a thing. Power stone. Okay, so it is. These are what we're trying to get. So the green one, glistening power stone. That that's damage boost. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, I finally got one. Finally got one. I literally put like a stack of 64 in there, and finally I got one. I thought it'd be a lot more common. Apparently not. Okay, let's. So now we got this. So we need glowstone. It said. Yeah, glowstone, and then like right clicking on it, like choose a mode. Tables prime for damage boosting, uh, auxiliary enchanting, unbreaking, damage boosting. All right, we want damage boosting because we got our glistening stone. Now, what do we want to put damage boost on? We don't want to put it on a sword because sword we can do that pretty easily. Uh, let's see, do we have any weapons in here that are very nice to use? The bear blaster is pretty good. Step sound cannon, that's okay. Let's use on the bear blaster because bear blaster right now is well. What about this? Yeah, bear blaster right now is my favorite weapon. Uh, because we don't have any other weapons. Maybe it'd be nice to put on like a slugger, a Nethan Jeek slugger or something like that. But I don't have one. So if we put oh. overpower one, yeah. Wait, does this mean we can put these in enchantment tables now? No, we can't. Can we repair it? Oh, we can repair it? <laughs> okay, so we got overpower one. So now we do more than 23 damage. I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume that. Uh, but let's let's go test it out since it is nighttime. Is there a blood hunt? I'm pretty sure there's a blood hunt. But let's go check. There are any mobs nearby. This guy, hey. What up, pal? Like that, like that overpower one? Okay. You know, it seemed fairly the same amount okay the only bad thing about the bear blaster you get the arc shots like really good it, oh got him oh my god <laughs> mlg so what i found the easiest way to get stuff out of pixon is there's like a specific area and once you find that area just hold down right click in that area but every now and then it works other other times it doesn't but i know how i'm gonna make an automatic farm with these guys i figured it out since we have a bunch of technical mods in here i hope it works 
I'm gonna assume it works because it just makes sense that it'd work like this. But you never know. You never know the compatibility of mods. And I'm, I'm pretty sure Exola didn't really think about like any compatibility with technical mods other than like I guess farming mobs. But uh, this is what I have right here. So we got the auto spawner here from Mine Factory Reloaded Auto Spawner. Really easy to make. It's actually, extremely simple to make. Uh, I pretty much have everything for it. Do I have? The, yeah, I have everything for it. I just gotta craft the machine frame and what, whatever other thing it needed to craft. What was the other thing? Pretty much the machine frame and I guess the the plastic sheets. I don't have, but we do have giant rubber trees outside of our house, so that should not be a problem. Uh, we also need an autonomous activator. Autonomous activator. This also very simple to make. Can we make this right now? I think we're actually able to make the autonomous activator right now. Let's see. So my goal is, if you guys don't know what the autonomous activator does. Holy cow, my inventory is full. Uh, the autonomous activator, pretty much, it's just like an automatic system that like can right click, left click, and it can do stuff like if you have like a, 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 a if you have shears, you can put shears in it. And put it on right click mode and then you get like a say like a bunch of fences and put some sheep in there and they'll keep on eating grass it will keep right clicking and shearing those sheep every time they have wool on them so it auto automates a lot of things makes your life easier and i'm seeing if we can there's a living fun guy in that i'm seeing if we can get a safari net uh capture a pixon with a bunch of health and then get uh the auto spawner to spawn a bunch of pixons and then get autonomous activators, maybe like three of them, with them, put a bunch of stone bowls in them, and get them to just keep on right-clicking the uh, Pixons. We're going to see if this works. So I'm going to do a bunch of jump cutting here, just because uh, I don't want this episode to go on too long. I don't want it to drag. Uh, I'm going to get it all set up. Here, mob. Hello? I'm going to get it all set up, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys. I think I got a system going on here. I don't know. I, I haven't flipped the switch yet to see if it works. But uh, I'm about to, and... Uh, Let's cross our fingers and hope that it works. Go. It's working perfectly. Oh my god. No way. This actually works. There might be a couple we don't get. But it is actually working when they're in range. I will I will uh you know fix this up a little bit better, but this is what we got so far. They get stuck on there. This is a bad design flaw. But for the most most part of it, uh they they get they get I get what I want. And uh, that's always good. We want the the stones. That's not like an asshole for saying I get what I want. I don't know. Uh, but we get what we what we wanted to get. And can we push these guys closer? Yeah, there you go. They need to have. They need to be fairly close. Round robin. Not sneaking. No, no, no. Get back in there. Where are you going? Where are you going? You guys get get back. No, no, no. You ain't going nowhere. Come on, come on, get it, get in front of it. So it only works if they're in front of it? Exactly in front of it? Uh, okay. Come on, man. Get, hop on in front, pal. Okay, so it does work. We just need to have something that makes them go closer. So I might have to add in a couple more mods. That or I might have to make this really, really tight when we build it. Uh, but no, actually no, what I will do is get more autonomous activators, like I said I would do. But the hardest thing is about having the autonomous activators is that you need to power them. Not constantly, but you do need to power them. Uh, I'm pretty sure they didn't used to be powered, but now they are. And uh, yeah, so it worked out pretty much how I wanted it to work. And uh, we're looking good, we should be able to get a bunch of good enchantments for future weapons. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this solo episode. In the next episode, maybe I'll get Dakota in it. And we'll do some quests. Uh, I'm going to probably do the side quest off camera. Just because they're not the easiest thing to find. It's just like, hey, look at all these red dots. Guess which one is a mother void walker. I don't know.